Hello everyone, so today we're going to be doing another video on a Chris Chan letter. This is going to be the second letter that Chris Chan has sent from jail. So we're going to go ahead and go through and read this. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments sections if you want more of these. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Greetings Coupon 11 and all, October 3rd, 2021. The last response I have received from thee was that was that one was most filled with bad vibes, yet I am not all shaken. It's honestly so hard to read with the way he talks. He, just, he doesn't talk like a normal person. Mm -mm. I tell you, once more, I meditate a lot, and I have connected with this and all universes and dimensions in this timeline, as well as the entire multiverse. So I only speak the greatest and ultimate of truths. Absolutely no lies, illusions, nor delusions at all. I genuinely know and what I am deepest and fully, and am not the only and not only am I the goddess blue heart of the Commodore consoles and the nations of Quickville and the old comma, but I am also mainly the real player one and the one avatar. This body is the one god body and I am full reincarnation of none other than Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself. I am God, and my mom is Emmanuel, God above gods, including Allah herself. So, obviously here, we just have a lot of very random ramblings from Christian. Um, there's, there's not really much to say here. Um, he basically thinks that he's literally Jesus Christ himself. And, um, it really seems like his mental state at this point was the worst it's ever been. Which, um, kind of makes sense, considering the situation. And I often speak and work with all of the other gods and goddesses. Allah is a good god, yes, but even he has his imperfection and concerns over his followers and nationality of Islam. He and I both know that Islam contains a total population that includes around 40% of toxic haters, fakers, and sinners within it, and the total fallout and conflicts within are certainly not too good. So this part's pretty interesting. He's basically just saying that anybody who's Muslim is automatically just a toxic uh, hater and fake and all that, and a troll. Which, um, he's not just talking about, like, regular trolls from that country. No, he's, he's talking about just everybody, just anybody who's Muslim, apparently. Rather thou wishes to believe or not, between both the dimensional merge, which is complete, all that remains of Universe 1218 is the following Earth, period, Universe 1C211987, and its Earth is where all the to non-toxic majority shall be collectively shifted to, and are at present with these events. I bring personally the second coming, and at present, whereat Malachi 3 and 4th of the Old Testimony, literally so yeah i'm completely lost at this point it's just a lot of uh, religious mumbo jumbo but we're just gonna keep reading through i continue my hardest of work and efforts alongside and with everyone both between this earth and 1218 and the earth of 1c 211 987 meditate long deep and hard that to confirm you for yourselves my body writes this with my t telepathy guiding its thoughts and hand with an ally holy flame soul maintaining it on my behalf Alongside Allah, I can say to most of you, all of you, this project of yours, but you need to be open for all gods in order for me to do so. The choice is yours. Miss Jesus Crest Chan, West Chan, Weston Chandler, Sonichu, the goddess Blue Heart and Lord of All. He's got like a very long name here at the end too. So yeah, in the second letter, um, I don't really know of an easy way to summarize this. I mean, he's talking about the dimensional merge, which is something that has been present ever since the Idea the Guy saga, um, and uh, so he seems to be very into that, as well as as well as a lot of religious stuff involving um, like the Muslims and involving the Holy Land and things like that. Um, it seems that reading the Bible has gotten to Chris's mind state, and due to him reading the Bible, I think that he sees Jesus and the type of things that Jesus is going through, and he just decides, well, I guess I am Jesus because, you know, I was, um, I've done this or that, and now I'm going through this. Um, and that seems to be the way that Chris Chan's mind works a lot of the time. He seems to be very impressionable to certain things he sees, and seems to either enjoy or hate those things very much so.
that's going to do it for this video. This has been Satellite Raccoon, and uh, thanks for watching. Now there's one last part I forgot. I want uh, your advice from the viewers of what kind of content you guys would like me to see me uh, doing. So, um, of course, I'm doing Chris Chan videos, but should I listen again to um, Daniel Larson or Cyrax or any of these other crazy lol cows? Um, just go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, I'm looking to do just uh, any kind of uh, like documentary style of video. So I do like doing these style of videos. They are pretty entertaining to me. Or I could do a book reading of the book that I'm currently working on and writing. It's a zombie apocalypse style book, which I will be probably releasing this project pretty soon. Um, but let me know if you guys want to see that, want to see more LolCow videos, and uh, peace.